Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will show you the latest update for the Twitch-O-Matic plugin. So the Twitch API which is used by this plugin to get content from Twitch and also to automatically post to Twitch is deprecated and will shut down in January 2022. But the good news is that they release a new version of the API and I currently updated the plugin to work with this new API version. So let me walk you through the changes and what are the required steps that you will need to make to configure the plugin. So let us dive right into this. So first of all, let me show you the main changes that will take place. So uh, the clips to post, videos to post, channel videos to post, live stream to post features will remain. So the plugin will be able to import content from Twitch and to post it to your WordPress site. So you will be able to embed videos, clips and streams, live streams to your WordPress site from Twitch using this plugin. However, the post to Twitch feature, which was able to upload videos, which were embedded in your WordPress uh, posts that were published on your site to Twitch, to your Twitch account. This will be discontinued starting from January 2022, because this will be the date when the old API version will shut down. And because of the new API is not supporting anymore this feature, because of this, uh, the post to Twitch will be discontinued in 2022, so in the beginning of 2022. However, the plugin will continue to import uh, posts and videos and live streams and clips from Twitch to your WordPress site. And let me show you how to configure the plugin. So you will have to go to the main settings and now you will have to also enter API key and API secret. Before only API key was needed if you wish to import content from Twitch and the secret was needed only if you posted videos to Twitch. So if you posted using the plugin videos to your Twitch account. Now you will need also a secret for the API to work. Okay, so keep in mind that the V5 API the posting to Twitch will be discontinued from January 2022. And until then you will be able to use it. But now let me go ahead and show you how to configure the plugin and how to set it up actually because the setup process also changed a bit with the new API version. So to create your API, click here. And here you will be able to click register your application, give it a name. So testing uh, without spaces, only characters are, um, and also without numbers you will be able to use only characters and don't use the word Twitch because they are not allowing this. If you want to use something similar, then use some letters between or whatever, but Twitch is not allowed and be unique. So it needs to be unique across the website. So you should add something random if you want. Also, if you want to set up the plugin in the clips to post menu or the videos to post menu, channel videos to post menu, then you should get the URL from the respective menu. So the clips to post will correspond to this URL. So simply copy this. If you want to set up the plugin in, if the, in the clips to post, then copy this URL. Note that if you set up the plugin in the clips to post, you will be able to use any of the other features of, of the plugin. So setting it up in the clips to post does not matter because also other features will be available when you set it up here. So we should stick to clips to post and copy the first URL and paste it in the OAuth redirect URLs here. And afterwards, select website integration and click create. Now we got our app created. Click manage for the new app and copy the client ID that the app provides and paste it here. Afterwards, click new secret, 
OK and you will get the new secret copy it and paste it here and click save API secret and all you have to do now is go to clips to post because you copied the URL from the clips to post menu and click the authorize the app. So here click authorize and if everything works correctly you might need to log in again to your WordPress site and after login you will be redirected to this page where you will be able to fully use the plugin because now it is configured. So if you want to set up also posting to Twitch until February 28, 2022, not January, February actually, then you need to copy also this URL. So copy this and add it to the OAuth redirect queries by clicking the add button, pasting the URL here and saving settings. So now all you have to do is click authorize also here and you will be able to use this feature also of the plugin. So here it is, you will be able to set it up. If you want to see how to set up these parts of the plugin, please check the full tutorial video of the setting up of the plugin, the first one I did, because there I already show you how to do this and it worked on the previous API version and it will work until February 28, 2022. And now let me check the clips to post. So here there were some minor changes. The uh, some settings changed here because the content period generated post title. And so let me show you how the plugin works now. So the site I have here is empty. And let me import some videos or clips even better from the StarCraft 2 game. So for this, I enter StarCraft 2 here in the game ID or name and click save settings. Here, note that you need to enter the exact name of the game. Otherwise, the content might not be imported. So games should be, the names should be like the names found here. So click here and you will be able to query games by their name. So you will see that's StarCraft 2 and even more simply you can copy the names from here and paste them here. So if you want to get uh, clips from League of Legends, just select this, copy and paste the stuff here. So, okay, but now let us import free videos from StarCraft 2 and click run this rule now. Importing might take a while, but in this case it is already finished and if we refresh our site, we will have the videos available. So just let me mute this to not be too loud and clips, videos and also live streams will be available to be added to your site very, very easily using this plugin and it will continue to work because it will work also on the new Twitch API version. Also, if you have issues with the channels, because here you need to enter the exact channel name or if the plugin uh, generates content from other channels, then you need to enter the channel ID, the numeric ID. To get the channel ID, click here on the channel ID finder. You, the same can be done with the game ID finder. So let me enter here StarCraft and click search. And the plugin will list all channels which contain the word StarCraft. So same for other words other channels will be listed which have the queried word in, word in them and you will need to copy the ID that the plugin provides for the respective channel. So for example, the laptop rules channel has this ID. So copy this ID, go to channel videos to post and paste the, the numeric ID and click save settings only one example video. I'm not sure if this specific channel has videos, but it seems that it has. 
and here it is this is the channel that uh, we indicated but it seems that it is major audience but uh, I'm not clicking the start watching button because I'm not sure why this uh, guy set its, his channel to be major audience so it's safer to not click this button here on YouTube okay so yeah this is the update that the plugin provides save for game ID finder you can set here a keyword and the Starcraft game the ID for Starcraft game is this okay so yeah as I mentioned this is all for this update I will link the previous tutorial video for this uh, plugin because there you will be able to see also settings from the main settings menu you will be able to see how to set up rules in detail and how to use the automatic posting to twitch of your videos and keep in mind this will work only until february 28 2022 okay yeah this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this video until next time have a nice day bye bye